Welcome! In front of me I have Black Shark 5 Pro and I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can use on this device. First I'm gonna show you how to change the uh, navigation system or system navigation type on this phone. So let's open the settings on our phone by tapping on the settings icon and settings scroll down, find the icon called home screen, tap on it and here tap on system navigation. And right here we can change the type of the system navigation. We have two types, buttons and gestures. The buttons is basically you will have this navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and you have buttons like back button, home button and recent tasks button or menu button. We can uh, customize this option. We can enable or disable the option to mirror buttons, basically to change the order on the list. We can tap on the button shortcuts and assign the shortcuts for the button. So for example, if you tap on lock, long press the me <coughs> menu button, you can select one of the shortcuts like um, take a screenshot. So for example, let's take a screenshot. And now when we press and hold on the menu button, it will take a screenshot like this. And you can assign different functions right here. Next, we have automatically disable navigation buttons and you can select the app in which the navigation buttons should be disabled. So you can, for example, enable it for Chrome or something like camera. And when you open the Chrome, it should ask you or the buttons should be disabled. But this option is not working too well, in my opinion. Okay, let's go back. Next uh, type of the navigation is gestures. And if you, en if you enable it, basically you can perform the gestures, gestures on the screen to move through the system. The back gesture is to swipe from the edge to the screen to the middle of the screen, like this, like that. Both edges work. To go to the home screen, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to the middle, like that. And to open the task, or rather recent tasks, the menu, you swipe from the bottom, hold on the middle for a second or two to open it, like this. Okay. And we can also uh, enable or disable the full screen uh, indicator. And we can also disable or enable the gesture confirmation. You have also the demos how to use the navigation system. Okay, let's go back. Now let's go back to settings. And now I'm gonna show you <coughs> how to uh, or how to use the gesture shortcuts. So let's scroll through the menu, through the settings, find the option called uh, additional settings. And here we have gesture shortcuts. And right here you can basically use a couple of shortcuts like uh, launch Google Assistant, take screenshot and stuff like that. So if you tap on launch Google Assistant, basically you can enable this option by tapping on the switch. And now when this option is enabled, you can press and call the uh, power button to open the Google Assistant if you want to, instead of the power menu. So if you disable this option, the power menu will open. So if you prefer to use the Google Assistant, you can enable this option. Next, we have take screenshot. And here we can enable and disable to uh, to be able to uh, slide three fingers to uh, take a screenshot or use the volume down, volume, uh, volume down and power button. So if you enable slide uh, three fingers down, you can take a screenshot by swiping down with the three fingers on the screen. And the second option, we can't really enable it or disable it for some reason, even though it's right here in the menu. Next, we have launch camera. And this shortcut, op basically you can uh, uh, enable the shortcuts to open the camera quickly. And we have the double pressed power button. So if you press it twice quickly, uh, this one, it will open the camera up. And other shortcut is the press uh, volume down when the screen is locked. So if the screen is disabled, you can press the volume down or press and hold it or double press it. One of those, or double press it to open the camera up like this. And that's about it. That's the, the shortcut. Okay, let's go back. And we have the last option, turn on the torch. And here we can basically enable the option to <coughs> Uh, turn on the flashlight uh, by double pressing the power button. Okay. Let's go back to the additional settings. And here we have a couple more things I want to show you. First is magic press. If you select this option, 
here you can enable it by tapping on the switch and what this option does it basically allows you to uh, bring up a menu quickly with shortcuts by pressing and holding holding on the bottom of the screen or, or the lower part of the screen and you need to press and hold firmly basically uh, like next to the uh, fingerprint area like this and it brings this menu and we can flick on it to select the options and we have different shortcuts on it uh, and we can customize them of course uh, but before that we have the uh, couple of options we can enable or disable first option is vibration feedback and you can enable it or disable it if you uh, enable the vibration feedback and you open this menu by pressing on the screen firmly come on sometimes it works it's a bit wonky or maybe I'm not really sure how to use it. But when you open the menu, your phone will vibrate a little, a little if this option is enabled. If it is disabled, it won't. Next, we have the force of pressure sensor. So basically here you can select the pressure. So how hard you need to press the uh, fingerprint sensor to open this uh, menu. Okay. And now let's customize the shortcuts. So we have the uh, shortcuts like uh, suspend and you can select one of the shortcuts. Uh, we have the flick up, so if you flick upwards, you can select something like, for example, screenshot. Uh, flick down, let's show... Um, yeah, let's show notifications. Okay, and now when we open the menu, we can flick down to show notifications, like this, as you can see, and if you flick up it should take a screenshot and you can customize to uh, customize this to your liking basically okay well, we can disable it now and go back to the um additional settings and here we have the other option i want to show you which is quick ball right here we can tap on it and here we can enable it quick ball is basically an another way to uh, use shortcuts on this phone if you enable this option, you, you will see this little circle at the edge of the screen and you can tap on it to open the shortcut menu right here. And we have a couple of options. We can tap on them to select it, right? And we have uh, this ball right here and it's gonna reappear or disappear depending if you're using it or not. So if you stop using it, it's gonna disappear. If you tap on it, it's gonna bring the shortcuts. And if you tap on X, it's gonna stay for above, I'll allow, I don't know, three seconds, maybe five seconds on the screen. And then it's gonna hide itself. Now we can tap on select shortcuts right here and basically customize the shortcuts for it. We can tap on one and select something different. So for example, here we have home. I'm gonna replace it with silent. Next we have menu and I'm gonna select something like torch maybe. And screenshot, no screenshots, let's leave the screenshot. Let's re replace the lock and let's make it clear cache, okay? So that's our shortcuts now. And if we tap on this ball, we have our shortcuts, silent, torch, clear cache, and stuff like that. So that's how you customize the shortcuts. Um, next, we have preferred gestures and we can tap or swipe. So if you want to swipe, basically open the menu and uh, flick on the option, I believe. Oh, you can also flick on it. So you can use different um, gestures if you want. And then we have how hide automatically and you can uh, enable it for apps. So basically if you open the app, the quick ball will uh, disappear, hide itself. So if I open the Chrome, it should disappear. And it's like, as you can see, it's gone. So you can do it for different apps on that list. And below we have move aside when full screen. So if you open the app and full screen, it's gonna move aside and stick to the edge after three seconds of an activity. So basically it's gonna stay up for three seconds and then disappear. <coughs> also, you can customize the wake up area. So uh, basically where you need to tap to open it and you can use the default, which is quite small, or you can tap on custom and you can set it to quite big as you can see. Okay, and that's about the all about the quick pull, I think. And one last thing I want to show you is master trigger. So basically, this phone has the fancy uh, triggers you can use because it's a gaming phone and you can customize a couple of settings for them. 
Uh, first setting you can customize uh, right here. So let's tap on master trigger and the additional settings. And first thing we can customize is basically the trigger functions. So when you uh, use the buttons when they pop out and we can customize couple of options. Shoulder key shortcut function. Uh, so basically if you enable this option, you will see the bubble pop out on the screen with the shortcut right here. If you disable it, this bubble will be gone and you won't be able to see this bubble. Uh, let me see, let me enable it, hide it. And when we see, now it's not working. Okay, so this is this option allows you to basically assign the shortcut to this bubble. So when you open uh, the switch, pop it out, you can tap on this bubble and you can change the shortcut, you can customize it. For example, by default it's screenshot, but you can change it to something else. Uh, for example, clean a uh, clear memory. If you want to change it, select the shortcut you want to use, uh, press, press and hold it, drag it to the bubble right here, and now it's changed. And now we can tap on complete. And when we uh, pop out our button, press it, we can clear the cache. We can do the same for the uh, lower button, the one on the bottom. Pop it out, the bubble, tap on it, and let's, for example, enable screenshot for the bottom one. Tap on complete, hide it, open it, the bubble pop ups, press it to take a screenshot. Quite simple, right? The next option is a uh, master trigger screen of fun function, and you can tap on it, and here you can basically enable the trigger screen, uh, trigger shortcuts rather, when the screen is off, I believe. And you can enable it by tapping on the screen, or rather switch. And now we can select the shortcut, uh, for example, flashlight and camera. And when the screen is locked, you can, I believe, um, press the buttons. I'm pretty sure something about it or not. <coughs> Oh, so basically when the screen is turned off uh, and you pop out the button, the screen will light up and you, you should see the shortcut right here, I believe. But it doesn't appear for some reason. Hmm, weird. Let me read it again. Oh, we need to double click them. Okay, so uh, let's hide them. Open it, the button and double click it quickly to perform the function. That's how it works, apparently. Oh, it is how it works. Okay. And we can customize the shortcut, of course. Let's turn it off, go back. And we can also enable and disable the haptic for the pop out. So it, the phone will vibrate. Sound defect, we can change it to something else like this. What else? Um, we can also change the light effect apparently in gaming mode. So we can change it to something else. Okay, so that's about the triggers. Now we can select switch. And here we can basically customize the settings for the switch itself, the one that pops out the trigger. And we can toggle the switch shortcut function and then we can toggle, tap on the toggle switch screen, screen off function and we can do it for the turned off screen, right? But first let's do it for the normal screen. So it is toggled. Now we can find the shortcut and for example, we can tap on it and select something like screenshot, okay? So now when we uh, hide the, uh, I mean pop up the button and hide it quickly, so do something like this, it will take a screenshot. So basically open, hide, open, hide to perform the shortcut. We can also open the application with the shortcut, so we can tap on applications, select Chrome for example, and go back, and now we'll open the Chrome by performing this action. We can also enable the shortcut for the lower button, of course, or the switch, my bad. Um, screen lock, for example, like this. Oh, it opened something else for some reason. Oh, this time it worked. So you can customize this quite a lot, honestly, and it's quite cool. Okay. And, and we can also do the same for the turned off screen. So we can tap toggle turn, turned off screen, select the, uh, of course, the thing. And now when we turn off the screen, perform the action, it should 
open the camera or uh, the camera too because I just chose the two different uh, modes the photo mode and video mode okay and that's about it thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video